Welcome back everybody to TV Sports 27. We just got done streaming a whole bunch of exciting basketball action with you guys and now we're going to play a little bit of MLB the show here. Our Arizona Diamondbacks. We're in quite the competition here for first place and we got two player lock games coming up with the Miami Marlins. We got uh, an early game here and another early game. So we're going to play these two games. We're going to player lock style them. And then we are going to simulate through the Mets and Giants series playing any big moments that will come up here. And then our next game that we play with you in full will, uh, well, looking at it, actually the Padres might be the bigger game to do for first place. We'll have to see where we are in the standings, but maybe we simulate past St. Louis and the Mets and play one of these uh, player lock, these Padres series, because that could be a bigger one. So that's kind of the style we do here. We play one game in full, and then we player lock and simulate the next two series. So that is what we are going to do here today to get through the gosh darn season. And we're going to player lock with David Peralta because he is looking to get 1,000 career hits, which is pretty unbelievable. We saw that come up the last time we played Miami, that he was on the verge of that. So you know what? We're just going to control... Uh, David Peralta for both of these games. So how's that sound? So there you go. We got, of course, the official TB Sports mascot here, Luna the Cat. And we want to thank those of you that are joining us here watching this, whether you're watching live on Twitch or whether you're watching on demand here on YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch, hit the Afternoon follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, on the hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. We're trying Arizona to get to 1,000 subscribers. And, and do check us out it's at patreon.com slash tbsports27. We got the previous TV Sports archives going up right there each and every day. We got hundreds and hundreds of bonus and exclusive videos over on our Sandy Patreon Alcantara page. And for baseball, for we're going to start. We got a couple of uh, Diamondbacks exclusive games hey, up right now on our Patreon page. On. We, but I think if this guy can we have were doing that. Pitches, I don't think we're going to do that going forward. We had one kind of exciting really game, good game with the Cleveland Guardians where we were doing... Um, that was back when we were trying to player lock every game. And we just realized it was going to take forever. So, uh, what was the original format we had? I think we played, like, the first game in full or something, or the first two games in full, and then we tried to do the quick pitch to the third game, and it, it, I mean, it was a really good game, but it took almost an hour, and it's like, well, that's not what we were trying to do. We were trying to keep the videos around, like, 30-minute range or so. They're going to so, have to find a way for it to start on uh, the So as far as our baseball go stuff going like to be concerned, and allow a bunch it of is uh, and Lefty Richard will be making his them. return Both those things over are on have to change. Patreon, this team's the closer. Going so be the right on the lookout direction. for that. We've and also talked about maybe making our own kind of like XHL style or NBA playground style baseball league with some legendary players. We could do, so let us know if that's something you would like to see. Maybe a little fantasy draft style. Outside corner, inside corner. Give me a wider plate than a higher plate. I think it's a lot easier that will to pitch to a wider plate. Drop uh, in. I don't know what oh, happened. The outfielder just like, glitched out right there. How close does that put Peralta That's to what we his, refer to in the his uh, 1,000 hit right there. goal? He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Hopefully that, they'll that, make a note of it if we do hit the ball. Settling in now, Cesar Hernandez. A couple of hits Hernandez will get four walked. trips to the plate last night. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Coming to the plate Glass now, now, Tyler Glasnow. And he could give his guys a lead average. if he can Please come through. Please just put down a bunt. The one-two is a swing and, and a miss. That's strike three. And he takes a swing rather than putting a punt down. Well, I have to give credit oh, to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Kevin Kiermaier, though, he's solid 257. But he is going to hit into a double play, so that will end the inning. Peralta, they just scoot over to third. That's, uh, all, that's all he's going to get there. So our situation has the bases loaded, two men out, and up next the outfielder David. But we are scoreless here, and we got a big opportunity. Bases loaded with two outs. Ball one as the changeup misses. So there it is, 997. So if we can get three hits over the next two games, 
we'll get that 1,000. Line well, the that's going to be one more hit. That's going to put him at 998. And, and that will be, oh my goodness, the man at third did not go. But that's going to be a two-run, a two-RBI double for David Peralta. And now we just got to get two more hits to get to 1,000. Stepping up now, Cesar Hernandez. He drew a walk his first time up. Cesar Hernandez. This is big business right here on the show. This is our third season the Arizona the Diamondbacks. One, one. Ball two. The count, two one. That's ball three. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. For some reason, the game it does this game. randomly. It'll yeah, glitch where we have to like watch deck. every single pitch in at bat. Where this situation. normally it'll just show us the end of the at bat. And he misses with it for ball four. So the well, bases will though. be loaded now. With Luna's two got away. her energy right now. I tell you. Standing in, Tyler Glasnow, and a chance now to increase his lead. Well, if he Glasnow's got bases loaded, so. Got him. So the damage winds up not yeah. being as bad as it He's could not, have been. Uh, as they'll slam the bases not only, loaded, the side is retired. Oh, look at that so they banner. Wind up the with Birmingham two in the Stallions inning, but it could have been a lot banner. worse as they leave the bases loaded. USFL champs. That's pretty cool. Ready once again. All right, well, David Marlon's Peralta. got the lead two back in here two trips for him in thus the far. second game. Ready two more deliver. hits will put Peralta at 1,000. Fastball in there for a called strike. Come on, guy. Get your pitch up there. And this catches the inside That's a hard one to hit. I mean, that's a good one to lay two. off on. His command but that's has been a tough pitch to take so to get two strikes. He's hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Pulled high in the air out to right field. That one will fly out. And this time, the, the right time fielder will not go away. Out, so and that ends the situation the there. And Peralta goes down for the count. Stepping right in, David four to Peralta, two, Marlon. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Marlon's now into the pen. First pitch of the at bat. Sandy comes out. Man, these pitches are just—they're ugly pitches that you can't really hit, right? But they're in there for a strike. To the mound. All right, unless we go into extra, extra innings, it's looking like that. Uh, we're going to have to wait till the next day to see if we can get to 1,000, well, and the Miami more Marlins more are going to take this one. So we split the series, and we'll go and to an early rubber match. <clears> coming up as we go to a new a month, Five to June, three, I believe, the final we'll be score in this afternoon's game. Miami led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. The Miami Sandy Marlins Alcantara take it 5-3 to three here over your Arizona Diamondbacks. Peralta was your notable. He got the two RBI, the two hits in this one. A couple of bases, you know, loaded up opportunity that Kevin Kiermeyer, or rather Tyler Glass now, could not cash in on. And we will wrap this up. Jordan Yamamoto going up against Luke Weaver. And once again, we will be controlling David Peralta. No fielding work in the last game either. Luna the cat, the, the TV sports mascot. She's got her favorite toy, the, the little mouse here, going crazy. I'm going to give this thing a throw. Go get it. You ready? Go get it. So young, so much energy, folks. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League now, Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon Miami. between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Miami Marlins. Drop back under It's Marlins baseball on the show. Next. Jordan Yamamoto, the right-hander from the Aloha State, gets the call on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? 
Hey, Matty, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over nine in his last three starts, and he has you to hear do that. a lot Did better. This guy uh, isn't was that, that bad of a pitcher. ERA one of over the keys, nine. He needs to start limiting the number of hits that. and the limit the number of base on balls. All right, It'll two be hits here. To see if he can turn things around. a thousand. We're going to try to hit that milestone here. Fouled off. If we don't get it, would you like to see me? Because eventually we're going to get it, right? And when you look at Maybe we just keep player locking until we hit that milestone. You guys want to see me do that? So he's often dealing with a lot well, of we, uh, we might be able to just get this milestone without player, <laughs> without getting an extra bases. game in. Peralta is one hit away from now, number 1,000. And that certainly represents oh, that was 1,000. Wait a minute. Hit number 1,000. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A thousand isn't a milestone that's going to get everyone talking, but as an individual, you have to feel pretty good about it. He'll definitely be wanting that. Oh, maybe ball I did my math wrong. <laughs> How anticlimactic was that? Because I, I, I was at 997, and right? And I had two hits in the last game. Lead if he can come through here. One thousand stands at second with no outs. One thousand for David Peralta, folks. Oh my goodness, so I screwed that up. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Well, you saw really it there. Impressive pitching right there. In Miami, Sometimes in, the, a pitcher, you can get in the crimson jersey. You make a good pitch and you don't get that call from that the umpire, good. but what does the he pitcher. do? He comes back Move. with a good pitch and gets Move. the strike. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. On, Over to Smoke at first yeah. and there are two away. Scoreless, so three hits for Peralta. In the last two games, he has not crossed home so plate, here's though. Kevin oh, no, we still got he one more out. In the game yesterday, so he had pulled Javi Baez again, four. not knowing how many outs we had. Hard hit to first. Oh, there we and go. Peralta is going to cross the plate. The base and they're going to take and a 1-0 lead back. as the run comes across to score. We are on the board, one nothing. In now, David Peralta. He'll Four of ten with the homer and the five RBI. You know, big Peralta had that right big home run well, in the first game. Hit last time kind of keeping the Diamondbacks alive. The zone and didn't miss it. RBI the shot here for Peralta. Get. He can get another maybe double. Maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly oh, capitalized on it last time. That looks Number solid coming off the bat. Makes the catch for the ready, out. Luna? And this you ready, Luna? gets away from him. You ready, Luna? Go. Digging in once again, David Peralta, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Peralta. Let's go. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. Wow. And it's you a always have that ball. moment where you know they kind of do that pose, and that's usually the home run. If like, he doesn't have a big game right pose, here, but not that time. Front shoulder and everything went with it. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. Only 1-1. One, one. We had now eight one runs one in the pitch. first game of this series. So our he bats have calmed down. Into right. and he Peralta will get just there loves hitting out the there in right field. Play, and and that will end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Stepping in, David Peralta. Up two outs and two back. runners aboard here in the, the seventh field. inning. David Peralta. Still tied at 1-1, but again, for someone that's just been crushing doubles like nobody's business, this is a this is a, a hell of a deal First right here. Big at bat. That's a ball. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Come on, big guy. Get to Ooh, he's here. really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Let it fly. Let's go. Trust Come on, and pitch oh, clock it is. on this guy. And he pops it up. Anderson in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go. Come on, baby. See it? Drive it. Ooh, really we hold that one across. That's, a, that's the one we want Peralta well to get the. Inside. We don't want him to get a hit by the pitch. Normally I say step into hits, those, get hit no by the pitch, take so your base. For the no, I want, I want Peralta to make contact with the ball here. here he's go. usually good for some, for some bases. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two, two. Guerrero kind of all over the place on his throws. Hey, get your pitch up there. 
pitch. Drive it right there. And that one never have a threatened full the zone. Count. It's gone full now to three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Skied in the air to straight away left. That will hang up there, and, and the that's two out an out threat and will not stay come tied. to pass as Ladies the inning gentlemen. is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Seventh, Seventh inning correct. stretch time here at the ballpark. All tied at one and one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Alex Young is oh, in Peralta out of the got now. Yanked. He'll be inserted into the so number six spot here. following the double. We are we are done, so we will we'll, uh, we'll simulate to the end of the game. Oh, and the bad coach coach makes the change. Well, this one had its moments of drama. Bullpen falls apart. The end, these guys came away with and the, the victory. Marlins and are going to take the series. One. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. That's unfortunate. The Miami Marlins jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Tehran Guerrero claims the win out of the pen his first. Drew Steckenrider wraps it up for the save his 11th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB My The goodness. Show. For more, make your way over to the show. All right, well, we are going to simulate forward. And like I said, we are going to play whatever big moments come up in these next two series here. So we're going to simulate to here. Yes. And we already got a big moment here. Critical situation. Walker has a shutout going late in the game. Finish it off. 6 nothing. Complete game for Taiwan Walker. All right, let's do it. Let's do these big moments. Play the first game of the series in full. Player lock the next two. And then big moments from the next two series. That's our that's our regular season style here. If you're just tuning into us this evening on MLB Network, you couldn't have chosen a better time. Taiwan Walker still on the mound to start this ninth inning. He's got a shutout working to this point, so we'll see if he can finish this thing off. Only 77 pitches too for Walker. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Pitching is usually not my strong suit, too, so this could be dangerous. Really but I'm, high curveball right I'm there. Into this, Struggling with the release point. Game. That's the key to the curveball, figuring oh, out and that? finding that release point. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Yohan Moncada. Right side, but it's well foul. Now the 2 1 pitch. Damn. I got 3 1. 3 ball, 1 strike. And this pitch misses oh here. It's my ball goodness. four. Well, that's a rough got start. Base runner aboard you know what? We're just setting him up for the double play. Now Here's setting him right Betts. up for the double play. Is really Mookie Betts with his whole, for three in the his game whole so far. thing just lit up red. Here comes red. the first pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw not nearly oh in time. Oh, my goodness. This is brutal. And hey, that's great hustle now right there out of the box. Not good. everybody's getting it right out of the shoot. Oh, we're going to lose the shutout, aren't we? <laughs> Come on. Executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that Do ball I have people is going to be hit on the ground. Do I need to, uh... You're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, I guess I'm controlling Moncada this game now, over so. over at second. Betts on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss for strike one. And okay, he'll fall okay. behind now to one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And it's fouled away. Oh, jumps on this God, one. It's me? high and deep to center. Oh, but it's off the balcony. And the runner is in from second. Well, we're not going to preserve and the he's shutout. In safely to third. As two runs and now we got even bigger problems. We might be blowing play. this whole game up. <laughs> oh, my God. I told you pitching was not my, uh, my strong point. And cutting the deficit to four. 
A base hit here, and it'll be down to three. Pete Alonso stands in as he looks at a called strike. Just a bit late, and he's fallen Touchdown behind 0 2. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. The 0 2 once more. Drilled to first. There we he's go. He's got it. And he'll All right. On first for can the breathe a little bit now. Now we got uh, we got at least one out of there. Next for the Mets, number three. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the we wings gotta consider only 90 two feet away. If another hit goes, that one we out put in on third. Uh, a relief, our closer. And there's ball one. I blew it. What can you say? They called me in. Shut out, complete game, blew it. And the splitter's Ooh, in there nice. as he gets ahead here, one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Oh. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to there lay off a tough pitch. Be two down. Oh, come on now. Peralta I lost it for has a moment. It, well, I'd that's going to be sacrifice. Schwarber can't of the get the out. That's three runs for the Mets three here. Now. The catcher. Next oh, up, and New we'll York. see what happens. Cummins, we got to get one more out was a to survive this last one. Time. Breaking okay. ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And they'll try and end it here with an even 100 pitches. Uh, what an unbelievable effort. He has had total command of all Walker's pitches, getting tired. all quadrants. Dan, this has got to bring a smile to your face. It, it does, d -Roy. One In the day and age where we don't see very many complete games, or for that matter, guys going out into oh. eighth, let alone the ninth inning, this has been a terrific start up to this point. And now this crowd announced that around 22,000 comes to their feet. Oh a swing oh and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be oh. off the wall. What the heck right happened? Center. And he is in the second My with a two-out like double. Lost their mind. If you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight. That was so annoying. That wasn't where I controlled them to run. Look at that. I'm going to keep him in against my better judgment for one more at-bat. There we go. And it wasn't pretty. <laughs> it was supposed to be a shutout. It ended up being six to three. But it's going to be a complete game for Walker and uh, Diamondbacks get the win here for that. He was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen and getting the win. And tonight's comes to an end, six to three, the final. Arizona took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Taiwan Walker with his fourth win this season, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. Okay. So for the month, Diamondbacks go 14 and 14. ERA, I like to see that be a little lower there, <laughs> up in the fours. And we're going to continue this simulation run here. Oh, we got another batting situation here. The clutch situation. It's David Peralta. So let's see if we can't win this thing. Orlando Guardians 14. And good Antonio evening to those of you just joining 10. us on the show. Now You've chosen to tune in at a great time. The Arizona Diamondbacks batting here in the bottom of the inning. Looking now, to if send we don't make this happen, if we don't get the one win. win, we are not going to keep playing through extra innings. First delivery to him on the way. Simulate on through. The right side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And that's the second out. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis. Well, Moustakis now. with the home run. A home run would, would wrap it up here for no hits the Diamondbacks. Here's the first pitch to him. Bases are empty here with two men out. Even one and one counts to Moustakis. Lugo 
a native of Louisiana, the Bayou State. He was taken in the very late rounds back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Here's the one two. No, that's two two count. Breaking Mr. ball lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Hello, Luna. Ow. The set and the two two. There's a drive wow, what a hit by Mustakis. Mustakis will take the turn and hit for second. There you go. There's your go-ahead run, the folks. Winning run is in the second base. Your winning run, excuse me. Go ahead and win. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two out wow. base knock to put the winning run on base. Let's see if someone can catch a gap and end this thing. I forgot Paxton once got traded to the San Antonio Brahmas. Uh, pinch runner. Okay, sure. Did my game just freeze? Oh, oh, I hit the sub. I hit the substitution button and it, it didn't do anything. The game like froze and didn't do anything. Yeah, it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here. All right, they're gonna away. send Jake Lamb on. another shot now. Oh, David Bowie. Here comes David Bowie. Bowie. To this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Hit as the other Bode way floats right it field. up. Nimmo is and there we to go make to the, the catch, and, and for that us. Means we've we're going to move on God, forward. We didn't get it. There you go. Diamondbacks do end up winning as Kevin Kiermeyer, I believe. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to so get we the take win. It. And this man led the charge. He's our First top two player over of the, the game. Yeah, he wound up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't get the toughest one of them all, a triple, but it was still an outstanding showing with the bat. So we've had a critical situation in every game so far of our simulation. Another another critical situation. Well, let's try it. Oh my goodness, this series with the Mets has been something else. In a uh, same situation here, you know, if we don't make it, we're gonna keep moving on past. Are you guys gonna pick up an We'd an like XFL to welcome those of you just jersey, tuning in on the bucks. show. You're joining us We're at a great back. time. The Arizona like Diamondbacks are batting Charlie. here in the bottom of the inning, looking to walk send there. these fans home happy with a walk-off win. Charlie Blackman oh, swings and misses there, so right he's down, down the middle. Looked like he was Charlie gonna wait Black him out, see if he was it. gonna come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter's gonna adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Oh. Boy, this has just been the at bat of almost, right? Ready on 0 and 2. A bouncer to the left side, fielded cleanly. And that's out number one. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona. Over again, all of these are possible walk off opportunities. Here. here comes the first pitch. Popped Man, him up. Again, right down the middle. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. The first pitch Jake number Lamb standing two. in now. Jake Lamb. We got Max Slash joining us. I believe a first-time viewer. Sends that one out of play for strike one. If you are, hello. Glad Boy, to have you here, Max. Out of the pen. He Max Slash in, in the house. Like this. Tight situations. This is exactly got our one, the one, one battle. We're in the middle of doing our... Our, uh, one and one the count to Jake Lamb. Rough ball. We're in the middle of doing our, our big moments. We're simulating. Yes, we got a new follower here on Twitch. Thank you so much. We got the new follower on Twitch. Subscribe on Fast YouTube ball. as well, Will Mac. Outside. We got all the archives. If you, you want to get caught up on all of our past streams, you can do that on our YouTube page. 
So glad to have you Can't aboard. Connect there. It's two and two. Two and two. Everything this guy throws is hard. Right now we are in the simulation portion of this episode of the stream, and we're playing meter. the clutch moments that are coming up. And fastball didn't miss by much, and wow. it's a full count. Wow! Wow! How about that? Every base we get the ball out of that. This like is franchise. This really yes, this is our third so season of our Arizona Diamondbacks free franchise. Hit in the air to Jake away Lamb. So if we don't make it happen, which we're not, we're going to simulate Conforto. pass because, like Under we said, it, we are. The catch for out number three. We are just doing so the one, clutch two, moments three, now. We just did player lock. If you want to see any of the footage that you step. missed over on our YouTube page, you'll be able to check that out because that's where we do uh, all the replays over there. Look at this game. 13 innings. All right, they get one run. Should we should we jump into this, I think? Let's see. Let's David Bodie swing away. Right again. Swing away. Ground out. Swing away. Brad Hand. We uh we need to pinch hit Brad Hand. And we're gonna we're gonna come in here. We're gonna put Mike Mostakis in. Number eleven. And we're going to jump into this and see if we can't salvage this game. 2-1, to one, bottom 13, final opportunity for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Two out, nobody on. Okay, 2-0 to Mastakis. I'm they might just, just pitch around the stock is. out there right now. That's they probably want to get out of here. It's probably been like a four or five hour game. Fastball up there is great, but 13 if you innings. can't harness it, what good does it do you? Two and one after the foul ball there. Man, again, and after being the stock ahead, is making contact. Two two. Just fouling them off. Arizona down to its last strike. A swing and that a shot one down the is. Is that and a home? A no, they're going to say foul. The is that nearly tight it, oh, but this ball man. Is That's rough. This one sinks low and a touch outside. Full count to Mustakis. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. Here we go. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Mustakis fouls away. it away. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Now a hard liner towards the And there you go. That's your ball game. Mets take it. So the, ball game is over. the yeah, getaway game, Mets win. will take it. Especially but the overall, the Diamondbacks the win the, the series the here. And held on to it in the bottom to secure this win. Pitching and defense game two to one. The final score this afternoon. New It'll York two to one series 20th. victory for the Arizona Diamondbacks, and we got one more series coming up with the San Francisco Giants to simulate through. See if there's any big moments to jump in. Four games actually with the Giants here. Uh, simulate. They can do that. E great. Beat the Giants, lost to the Giants, and here we go. We, uh, we're we going to try to get a rally go going. Could tell Marte with 0-3. We're going to jump into this one, see what we could do. There you see where the Padres... I think we are. I think the next time we stream, we are going to do the player lock simulation with the other games first and then play the Padres series that Padres one is going to be a big series I mean this whole division is really tight like even the last place We'd game like to welcome mm, those of you really just three tuning games in out. on the show you're joining us so let's see time rally time here Martin. in this Maybe looking to go NL West here is situation trail by one here in the ninth he's set and the pitch lifted down the line and left left and fielder is on the Marte move that. he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out now batting Hector. Stepping Kyle. into the box, Kyle Schwarber. He I don't know which game to watch right now. I'm going back and forth through. between the yeah, USFL Batty, and, and the XFL. He got it game. out of his system, especially now. He's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Kyle Schwarber always dangerous every time Schwarber steps up, especially when you're down by one. One and one to Schwarber. 
Maranta has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Now the pitch. This is popped up. And that is going to be Crawford your classic infield it. right there on the Two dirt games. out. And I don't think we're getting many rallies going, folks, in this one. Oh, Diamondbacks are down to their final out now. Yay. And in to hit next will be Jake Lamb. Lamb. <clears throat> Jake Lamb, your final First opportunity here, here for the is. Diamondbacks. Knack, are you watching any of the USFL or XFL action? Time run at the plate, the 01. Are you a uh, big baseball guy? Back behind first. Oh! Legs churning, he's headed for second. How about the whiff? Yeah, is that going to be an error? Position with two away. Diamondbacks have Everyone life. Knows there are no awards for successfully getting 26 outs. That's a tough, to that's a, I mean, a behind the back play. Celebrate. You're trying to catch that, that one over your shoulder putting the equalizer on at second base a couple minutes ago this thing looked but like now it there's might an be opportunity over, for your diamond can back change with one swing of the bat here's Javier Baez not much in the way of productivity from him Javi so far, but he's got a chance to come through here and tie this one up spot. folks yeah he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts into the corner and he slicing crushes foul. that into the seat Comes set, the 0-1. Oh. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. And this ball I swung out and drop, hit to drop, drop, field, drop. And No, too he's much carry it, on the that. Giants have bounced back from and losing uh, the San Francisco to Giants, two and three of this they're going to take two in a row here, over. but we have a chance, game it's four. Just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road, but they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. So Pitching we shall see how this game, two series to one, the final wraps scores. up. And then next time we stream with you, we're going to do the similar format here. We're going to play big moments. We're going to simulate through. We'll play big moments, and then we'll do player lock for the first three games of the Padres series. How's that? So we'll do we'll simulate the Cardinals and the Mets playing any big moments. Player lock for those three Padres games, and then we'll play this Padres game in full, knowing that's going to have some big implications. And then, I mean, we got the Padres again coming up here. But I think playing the Dodgers um, would be the bigger one to go with because it's another division. I don't know. We'll play it then when we get to it. Let's see. Is there going to be a final big moment to play through, simulate through? And there is. Look at this. 5-5. Five, five. Javier Baez at the plate. 0 for 4. Let's do it, man. We've had some big, big. This is going to be almost a 40-minute video here because we've had a lot of clutch moments. Fourth and goal, by the way, for the New Jersey Generals. Quarterback keeper. No. Wow. Birmingham Stallions. We'd like to welcome those of you just tuning in on the show. You're joining us at a great time. The Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, guys. This is, this is a clutch at bat here. these fans home happy with a walk-off win. Here's the first pitch. Now Baez, to good here. lord. That was a horrific bunch. Bring this one in. That was bad. Wow. And Ooh, I think the general might have gotten the touchdown, actually. He's gone I think that ball to just point. touched the Not white line. Up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right, All right here. To tell Marte. To be the hero. Here's the first pitch. I ah, got him fishing that time. 0 and 1. His career numbers against Hector Neris. He's gone 5 for 13. He also has one home run. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. 
This is on the there ground you go. Grounder, first. and we got extra and innings. But for us, that means we're going to simulate and... through. <laughs> hey, even simulating all these games is still a 40 minute stream. Plate, number 40. Um, quick manage. Yeah. Oh, good lord. What just happened there? Oh, my God. Nine runs. Oh my god, that was terrible. They got nine runs out of that. Let's see what happens. Owings. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. He got walked. Now pitching for the time. Strikeout. Kiermaier, strikeout. Blackman, single. I mean, I, it's not even worth jumping in at this point. Oh, we got no help. We could tie the game up. Okay, we're going to jump in. We're going to jump in. We have, a, we have an opportunity to tie the game up here. Six to nine. A, a horrific 10th inning where the Diamondbacks just gave up a boatload of runs. But an opportunity here to tie it up with Kyle Schwarber. Facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Schwarber averages a hit once every four at-bats and average at exactly 250. Hot shot towards the oh. ball. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Nine to seven. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. All right, Schwarber, who we got next? Yeah. Kyle we got a little pitching change here. Kyle Bach coming in. And pick up Jake a save. Lamb. Number 21, Kyle Bain. Jake Lamb standing in now. So they got and Schwarber batting fastball for ball one. Fourth? Isn't he usually our leadoff man, or am I mistaken? Game, three for five thus far. Jake Lamb wins it with a home run here. The 1 0 home. Now he goes the other oh way. Oh my God. A lot of it high and deep to left oh, center field. Uh, it's going to fall gonna get short, one back but. And maybe both as this is down for extra bases. And the runner will the game is tied. In there at the plate. Unbelievable. Tied yet again here well, it's the fun 10. just doing these clutch moments. Well, there are base hits, but then there are big base well, hits. Well, this down. one's getting late. That Let's is a off. huge two oh, yeah. RBI base hit to tie things up. Oh, yeah, Dan, yeah. in the late innings, the pressure gets higher. It's who can control their emotion. This is a cool idea just doing the clutch nice moments. They should do that in the, in the basketball or hockey games if you simulate it. And it's a close game, you can jump in or something. This is fun. Oh my God! And that brings up Javi Baez. Who would have ever thought after that disaster? It was nine to five. It was five five. Then it was nine to five. Question is whether we tied it up, folks. <laughs> we tied it up. Jake Lamb, Kyle Schwarber, tied that one up. Goodness me. The set and the one zero. And he fouls Baez can one walk off. it off now. It is absolutely amazing how this game has just changed on a dime lefty right on here. Lefty. Credit the offense putting a big, no, it's a, it's a big righty. inning together to get themselves right back in this ball game. One and two now. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Low with a fastball two, that two. time. Two balls and two strikes. What a tenth inning this <laughs> this was! High in the oh air my goodness, the that field. is the going to die there. out, and we go he to the eleventh. the catch, place. and the winning run is left stranded. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. Eleventh inning coming up. All right, we're gonna we're gonna sim forward again here. We survive it, so let's see. Walk. Strike out. Okay. In the 12th. Blackman, walk. Schwarber, out. Lamb, out. Out. All right, we go to the 13th. Baez, out. Marte, single. Owings. Two run home run. You know, I debated. I debated jumping back in. I was debating in my head. Let's jump in. 
But I was like, no, we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to jump in for the last one. Doesn't matter. Walk off. Owing. 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 This one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. What a ball game, folks. All right, guys. That was an extended one. 45 minutes as we're trying to get to that, 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 that 15 to 30 sweet spot these days. That is going to wrap things up. When we come back next time, we're going to do a similar format here. We're going to simulate through. We're going to simulate through this Cardinals series and the Mets series playing any big moments. We're going to player lock these three Padres games. And then in the stream after that, we're going to play this game in full against the San Diego Padres. So do come back. The Diamondbacks, 34-33. They are right in the hunt. In fact, we are tied, but it's anybody's game. Look at these divisions. It is a, it is a mess right now. In the American League, uh, a 42-win team is first place in the wild card. What's happening in the uh, in the American League? East? Look at the Tampa Bay Rays and the Red Sox. That's that's insane right now. 44 wins there. All of a sudden, 30 uh, 30 wins that we have don't don't look all that good. In fact, this division kind of sucks. We're tied for first place at 32 and 33. This is kind of a, a rough division that we're in. But you know what? It's good enough. It could get us our first playoff bid. First time in a long time. That's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to Slash for being a new follower on Twitch. Thank you to Mr. Maple and Justin Russell. Go ahead and follow on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. And check out Patreon.com slash TBSports27. Tomorrow, we're going to be streaming over there the RXFL Sunday Night Football game will be exclusively on Patreon. We'll see you guys tomorrow right over there.